What's up guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to build an electronic microscope which is wireless by using a ESP32 cam. By adding a proper lens and some little changes, as you can see we have a good result. And by using the ESP32 cam example web server, we free to change the brightness, contrast and many other variables of our output result. So before we start the tutorial, let's hit the intro. So the idea for this project began from when I buy this old CCTV camera. It has a IR module for night vision mode and also a image sensor for capturing all the pictures. Beside the image sensor, I got this lens which will help me on this project. What I wanna do is removing the lens from OV2640 which is the default camera for ESP32 cam. And then replace it with CCTV camera lens which we got it before. Well like every project we need a case for this project and let's see how I do it for this project. At this moment as you can see the image sensor fit in the place and now we can use the lens. One thing that I like of this lens is that you can easily change the distance between the lens and image sensor and it will help you when you want to focus better on your subject. At this moment I decide to add a no-pixel ring WS2812B to shine up the object under the microscope. For powering up the ESP32 cam I used my old PCB which I made it for programming and also powering up the ESP32 cam. This PCB was made for programming the ESP32 cam without using any USB 2 TTL module. Of course I have two versions of this PCB and of course I use the better one. As you can see this version has a better quality and also is a smaller. So we will use this. In this part, I will connect the ESP32 cam to the NeoPixel ring. I used a GPIO12 GND and also 5V pin of ESP32 cam. At this part, I will connect the GPIO12 to data in of NeoPixel and also I powered it up with 5V pin of ESP32 cam. For the code you just need to add your Wi-Fi credential, choose your COM port and also choose your board type and you're ready to go. Also I upload this code on my GitHub page and you can download it from the link in the description down below.
As you can see after uploading the code and put everything together, we have a good result at the end. Alright guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope it's been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.